It's new product times later. data. Wow. Here it is. Zoom. Okay. Let's uh, go through some of these first ones really fast. Okay. Okay, so new, 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 yeah, new, new. Um, we're gonna get a new song too. New, but a new for song now, for you. Yeah, but for now it's just you singing new. New. Okay, so this is wire, and I'm just gonna click through as you say what it is. These are um, silicone, stra uh, silicone covered stranded wire, and we've had these in individual, um, like p pieces, like like one meter, or two meter, I think, two meter strips. But a lot of people email us and we're like, uh, we really want a lot of this, and this is like really great stuff. And so we're like, oh, okay, we'll, we'll be able to get it in, in larger pieces. So um, we ordered up these in 25 foot spools, which is about like uh, seven and a half, eight meters. And it comes all these different colors. I can show it off in the overhead. And what's nice about these is compared to most wire, which has vinyl coating, like Bifizi coating, um, it's extremely flexible and it doesn't crack the same way. Like if you're frustrated by like using normal wire and whenever you solder it, like the sheathing moves back and that's really annoying because you're like, oh, you clip it and then you like tin the wire and then it moves back and you have to clip it again and it's like, mm, it's annoying and it keeps, it keeps shrinking back. Silicone doesn't do that. Um, it's, uh, you can heat shrink it, it doesn't melt. You can um, have, use high voltages and it's fine. So this is, I think 26 gauge. This is a good size for stranded. It, it's a little thicker and we'll probably get 30 gauge as well, but um, just really handy 25 foot spools, little okay. spool. Um, I use this stuff for all the prototypes. The prototypes I'm going to be showing later, the demo uh, uses silicone wire. I love it so much. Right. Next up, um, we've got this great. Um, I'm going to skip okay. to. Uh, Hello. Yeah, I'm going to go to. What do you want to do? This one first, so. Okay. Yeah, this is. Okay. is it, they're all the same, pretty much. Yeah. Well, we got these. What, are, what would you call these? Like. These are micro grabbers. So, micro grabbers. Thanks for asking. Yeah, micro grabbers, and then are these other ones that are coming up? They're also? different. Yeah, that's why I have these uh, out of order. Yeah, yeah, these are the black micro grabbers. Yeah. And um, these are for grabbing onto very small um, connections. You can kind of show it here. I'll also show it on the overhead because this one is definitely one that you have to, to show up close. Um, so this is like my my victim here. Um, Good so for the, reverse engineering stuff. Great for reverse engineering stuff. So these little grabbers, you can see that there's a little um, like two little pincers that come out and they can grab onto something. So do you want to? Can you zoom in even more by chance? Yeah. Just because this is like so small. Sure. Little grabber guy. Go in. Go all the way in. Perfect. Yeah. People are going to be freaked when they see this is like coming for you. Meow. It's coming for you. Um, so these little grabbers, they push out, and then you see the ends have a little curve on them. So when they pull in, they, they grip on. So for example, if I wanted to probe onto these TQFP wires, um, I can get the little legs in and grab, and it isn't shorting onto the sides. It's only grabbing onto the actual pin. Well, let me, I have to, it's hard to do this without seeing, but you can also grab onto pins in the center if you want. Um, it's best for SOIC, uh, TQFP, like these SOT 23s. This is really great for that. I'm just like, I'm like, hey, I want to grab right there. Bam, you are grabbing. And then you can connect um, any kind of, uh, uh, female, female, premium uh, jumper wire onto here. Um, but whenever you have to like grab onto like, you know, the switch, you don't want to solder on. Oh, hold on. You can see what I'm grabbing. Grabbing, and you are grabbed. Um, so I love these a lot, and so that's why I stock them. I use them whenever I have to like go in and probe something really small. Okay. And they're Pomona, so they're really Yeah, they're quality. really nice. Pomona stuff is nice. Very nice. Okay, so um, in addition to those... So then there's these mini grabbers. Yeah, so in addition to those, we have these colorful mini grabbers. Mini grabbers, not micro grabbers. They, these, these come in a pack of 10, and they're less expensive. You get, you know, you get more because they're much bigger. And they're, they have a similar kind of idea. They have a single hook, and when you push on the probe, it, probe the hook comes out, and it also grabs something. But these are better for larger connections. So um, you want to go to the overhead, and I'll show the... Uh, yeah. I'm, Raspberry I'm very zoomed in. Is that okay? No, this is this is the best. This is what we're doing. So, for example, I've got this this um, yellow hooker here, with it's got and this one doesn't have the um, the pin, so you have to open these up and solder to them. They have a little uh, 
solder tab here. It's, it's oh, pretty cool. easy to solder to. But they're not, the, the micro grabbers, they have a little um, pan, um, shove a, a socket header into to, to connect to, but these you have to actually solder a wire onto. Um, but same idea, you have a single hook coming out, and it has this nice shroud here that protects it and also lets it kind of make a good grab. Cheaper ones don't have like all this extra molding, um, and so they, they're more likely to short. But you want to grab onto, say, um, a 0.1 inch header. Yeah. Perfect, and you see it doesn't it doesn't short the, onto anything around. The quality it. with these things actually matters. Like you think. No, you it, really you, don't want to like. You think it wouldn't, but one. these but this is like one of the few things like it actually matters. That's why they like put their brand all over it and everything. Yeah, and then you can also grab onto like this um, SOT uh, 28, uh, 80, 89, TO 89. I don't remember exactly what the, the part number is. Um, larger, larger pieces you can grab onto this. So this is the the larger version um, in comparison to the um, the micro grabber. You can also um, one trick I sometimes like doing is you want to grab onto like that connection there instead of soldering. Yeah, just hook you on. hook onto the end, boom, and okay. then bam, you are bam -o. connected. All right, next up. So um, micro grabber, you get ten of those. Yeah. Uh, next up, um, you got. This nice little sockety thing. Yeah, this is a so tap adapter, and this is actually what you're getting. It's a little little JST connected onto a board with these big pads, and you get a cable. And the reason um, for this is like people who want to use like NeoPixel rings or strips with uh, Gemmar Flora, and they want to sew them in, and they don't want to do any soldering. This lets you kind of do a solder wire to sewing adapter. And so I have a little demo. Can you um, go there ahead, but then also zoom out because it's, it's like crazy close. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Yay! Bring it out. Thank you. Hello! Um, so this Gemma, for example, is wired up to NeoPixel, NeoPixel, and then let's say you wanted to have a NeoPixel ring. Well, um, you wouldn't be able to solder it because it's very, uh, sorry, you wouldn't be able to sew to it because the pads aren't nice and big. Uh, which is very useful for sewing. So instead, you have this adapter, you um, put the adapter here, you sew to it, and then you have these nice wires that you have, and then you can solder those to anything you like. Okay. Right on. Well, let's keep going. Simple, um, but useful. Yeah. Okay. We're up to some um, electronics here. What is this, this thing? is the Esperino Pico. This is a JavaScript microcontroller. It's an STM32, either M4 or M3, can't remember the exact part number, um, but it's a 32-bit ARM processor, Cortex M3 or M4, and it has a JavaScript interpreter on it, and so you actually program it in JavaScript. Um, and I always like to think of the people who um, tell me that I'm a, a pansy for programming in C, <laughs> not close to the metal like assembly. So here you can program close to the metal in JavaScript. Um, there's enough flash and RAM on this processor to, to run JavaScript, and you can, uh, Kind of sensors and GPSs and, and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and there's there's quite a bit. Uh, there, we have the larger JavaScript board and this is the miniature version. So more breadboard friendly. It's also less expensive because not as many parts and extras and like the connector for micro USB and all that. Um, but yeah, you can connect to it and just start typing in JavaScript and you can save it and we play it later. It's totally crazy for. Yeah, and then we also have here. You can see all the different. And then. Yeah, there's a lot of alternatives going on here. You can like you know boot, and you can <coughs> solder on a JST connector, and, and have a battery powered. But it's like a little JavaScript microcontroller, so I, th I just think it's adorable. We got the Python microcontroller and JavaScript microcontroller, and okay. then now we have Rust, so we can get all these languages. All right, next up, it's a lock. It is a lock. This is the guts of the Lockatron V1. So this is a, a, a Y Combinator company. Um, they did either crowdfunding or something, something. I don't remember if they had crowdfunding. Maybe they did Indiegogo. I don't remember. Um, but basically, it's a, it was a cellular, uh, sorry, a um, cell phone controlled lock where you would, um, you would, the the Lockatron itself would connect over Wi-Fi. Actually, had an electric imp inside of it, which we also sell, and it would connect to Wi-Fi, and then you would use an app on your phone that would connect through the Wi-Fi to turn your lock on and open and closed. And um, I think they're up to like revision three now. And so they had all these extra like bodies, the, the enclosures. Uh, and they're like, well, we don't, we have no use for these. We're not gonna sell the old version anymore because the new version is like spiffier. So they asked us, hey, would you like to pick up a whole bunch of them at a discount? We said, yeah, sure. Yeah. And so we did. And this is what it looks like on the inside. You can take it apart. And um, it's got this like gear inside. 
and um, motor. And I'll show the, the guts in more detail. This is how it's supposed to mount. Like you have the, the flicky lock type deadbolt. It goes on top and you can attach it and then uh, yeah. it would open and close. You can still open and close it using um, the, uh, the top there, but it, it'll also motorize. You can do either or. But you know, when you have stuff like Adafruit products, and you add a little bit of Internet of Things. Hi. Hi, I'm Nimbus. I'm Nimbus. The friendly Internet of Things <laughs> cloud and totally me. not gonna do everything bad to your electronics. Um, so what you can do is you can add um, Fona. And we have a demo. So this well, because they, they had Wi-Fi. So, yeah. And I'm like, Wi-Fi, that's so lame. Yeah. Let's do cellular. So this is a, a video demo. You can talk over it right now. All right. You can um, say this doing. demo, yeah, I'll actually be able to also show this live. But um, I use an SMS message. And when I send the text, open Sesame. And uh, yeah, you can make fun of this phone. But this, this phone works great as a demo. Um, it uh, opens the lock. So you see it looping. And then you can also text it close. And it will close the lock. And here's a version showing it with the guts open. This is it like on a breadboard. Um, demonstrating it and you can see the the red orange center that's the the geared part that opens and closes and there's a battery pack as well okay and then um, but now we want to see it live so let's go to the overhead yeah we're gonna do a live demo this is always dangerous this is always really dangerous so we're zoomed out all the way right yeah so this is the Lockatron so I'm, I I kind of opened it up but yeah you can you can always open and close the lock with this part but then if you open up, under here there's a geared motor. And then this is um, the part that's controlled either by um, you know, this thing or the geared motor, whichever one is turning. There's a battery pack here, but I put in another little battery because this battery pack, I decided to stick, for, uh, stick it with the motor so that you have a, a separate power supply for the motor and cellular mo um, modem. I think it's a good idea, and especially when you have motors involved, often having se split supplies is a good idea. And also, uh, I don't know, I want to get this demo done. Um, and here is a Fona. So I like that you could fit all of the electronics inside of the enclosure. I did. It was yeah, a little cool. bit of a challenge. We have this, this sticker antenna. So this is the Fona. And then um, we also here have um, the Metro Mini, which is a little Arduino compatible. And the text underneath here. And then we also have a, a TB6612 H bridge. It's a motor controller. Just because this motor is big enough, you can't drive it directly from Arduino pins. You have to have a motor driver to actually do the on-offness. Um, and uh, you can check out the tutorial if you want more details, but basically the Metro Mini talks to the Fona and says, hey, um, let me know when you get an SMS message. You can, you can actually put it to sleep mode and it will uh, drop a pin, interrupt, and say, hey, like an SMS came in. Um, so for example, if I We're gonna do this. have this phone, and I go to It's a rare here. thing, you don't have a phone. This is the phone that you use for this demo. For this demo. Yeah. Okay, so, so you're going to do this live on so the So I have this demo and it says Open Sesame. Open Sesame and it's to the Ting card, which is in yeah. here. And I send the message. So this is like going to go to space. It's going to go to space and back. Yeah. And like that, I like that little message sent and it's going to... Bing. Okay. It worked. And live demo. Woo. Yay. And then I'll do the other one just to show you can... Because it, the demo is actually more about like you can have different messages. So now you're going to do what? Close. Close. So hold on. So now I have a message that says, close Kadabra. So I send this message, sending, message sent. Goes through the entire network, gets to the phone, and it closes. That's cool. So this demo shows you know, not only how to control, a, uh, how to use the Lockatron body, which is kind of interesting, and how to pack stuff inside of it, but also like how to use a Fona, a Metro Mini, um, to make something cellular controlled. And, and you know, using the Ting SIM, it's only like six bucks a month. So you can have something that's tucked away and cellular controlled. So I think that's kind of neat showing Internet of Things. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't sure. even use a cloud service. It's just over SMS. Okay. And with that, we're done with new products.